Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. In this episode, we are going to be looking at radioactive decay. As usual, please do not forget to like this video. Like in this video, we make other students easily find this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. Alright, it's to notify you whenever I release a new video. So please do not fail to click on the what red subscribe button below the video now. And don't forget to share. Sharing is what means you love other people you want them to pass. Alright, so please keep sharing to your Facebook, WhatsApp group, to your friends who are writing exams. Okay, why I jam? Alright, it's going to be benef beneficial to them. All right. Also, this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam app. Let us see a question about radioactive decay from the app before we continue. All right. So, this is a 2021 question number 26. 2021 number 26. It says, which of the following involves a beta particle emission? Which of the following involves a beta, part a beta particle emission? A. They say uh, U, 23492 to uh, 230 uh, TH. B, 238ATHG to what, 23881TI, 234U to 234TH, uh, D, uh, 342HE to what, 1264C. Okay, we're going to come back to this question. I don't want to mention their names, all right? So please, we're going to come back to this question at the end of the class so that you understand what they mean by what, by uh, beta or particle em emission and what, alpha particle what, emission, all right? So please do not forget to download the application. The application asks all you need to succeed in your exam. Okay, ask all the past questions, so no need to buy past question outside. Ask classroom feature with what, lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus, so no need to carry textbook up and down. All right, so also have what, the what? The question start feature where you can start for question according to topic, and then also we have the UTM mock challenge that you conduct, you participate with what we conduct it every Saturday, compete to meet, win prizes, get you to pass, jump, and likely exam questions. What's more is award. You also will see your score release every Saturday, so it be so confident to all the minutes. And you know, they hear when they say jam as release result, all right? So you'll be confident to go and check. So please go and download the app from Play Store and activate it for a small fee. Do not be stingy to yourself, all right? Do not be stingy to yourself. Activate the app. All right, so that's what radioactive or decay. Let's look at radioactive decay. Let me slow down. Sorry, rushing too fast. All right, so when a radioactive substance, when a radioactive substance emits radiation, when a radioactive substance emits radiation, when it emits radiation, it is likely to experience a change either in charge or in mass. Okay, when a radioactive substance emits radiation, it is likely to experience a change, a change, C A N G E, in what? In charge or mass. Okay, when this happens, we say that what radioactive decay as what well has happened. Okay, when this happens, we say what it is said to have what undergone decay. We say to have what undergone decay. Okay, that radioactive substance is said to have undergone what or what decay. Okay, so please take note of that. All right, so this decay that we're talking about now, a, a change in this charge or mass that we're talking about is seen in the emission of either what alpha particle or what beta what particle. Okay, this what change in charge or mass or both. Okay, is seen in the emission of either what alpha particle or what beta what particle okay and then we call both of them what alpha decay or what beta decay respectively okay we call this one alpha the one by alpha particle is called alpha decay alpha decay why this one by beta particle we call it what the beta what decay all right so please take note of that all right so we say that when a radioactive substance emit radiation it is likely to experience a change in charge or mass in that say in that case we call it what radioactive or decay we say decay we say what well, that radioactive substance and that come what decay all right and we say that this change in charge or mass is seen in the emission of what either an alpha particle or a beta particle or uh, of course all right and it is called what either what alpha decay when it's an alpha particle and it's called what beta decay when it's a what a beta what particle okay so let us see some examples to explain all this we have been saying. So, for example, if you have uh, uranium-238, all right, we have what you, 
uranium 23892 then we now have what thorium 234 okay 23490 okay then plus what four what two helium or alpha four two okay so that means that what that an alpha particle okay this is well, this is what an alpha particle the helium what atom is an example of what of an alpha particle okay so now what is what do you experience what do you experience it means what this is what uranium 238 okay a radioactive substance okay it has emitted what an alpha particle it has emitted what an alpha particle and when it's emitted an alpha particle what is the result that we see you must look closely because the more you look the less you see so until you very look it you took your eye inside and see it's waiting no good okay so let us analyze what happens what when this uranium 238 this radioactive substance what emits what an alpha particle okay or gone go, uh, goes to what an alpha decay all right so now what happens if you see now the, the charge? This is the word, this is the nuclear charge. Okay, sorry, this is the nuclear mass. I mean to say this is the nuclear mass. Why this one is the nuclear charge? Nuclear charge. This one is what the nuclear mass. What happens is that what as you can see when it what uh goes uh, when you run to it goes through alpha decay, alpha decay, alpha decay. You discover that what that the that the word that the substance that is from here has what a change in mass 234 from 238 it goes to what to 234 while for the charge from 92 it goes to what 90 that means that what during what alpha decay okay the charge the what the nuclear mass okay is reduced by four units you must take note okay that when what a radioactive substance goes through what alpha decay alpha decay rather rather okay the nuclear mass okay reduces the nuclear mass reduces by what by four units by four units okay why what the nuclear charge reduces by what by what two units you must take note of this okay so this is what is experienced when what a radioactive substance goes through what how far decay okay the nuclear charge is what reduced by what by so the nuclear mass is reduced by four units while the nuclear charge is reduced by what by two units this is the most important thing you should note what in this word board okay for alpha decay all right it reduces what the nuclear charge by what by four units and then this to what a decrease also in the nuclear charge by what by two units okay so that is that for that for what for alpha or decay okay so this is what alpha decay for for two okay helium like example is what's an helium what atom okay now let us see a beta decay see another example for a beta decay so now if you have thorium 23490 if you have for example thorium 23490 thorium okay then we now have what 23491 uh, protactinum okay protactinum then plus what uh this is what an um, um zero minus one or beta zero minus one okay this is what it means okay so this one is what is a beta particle this one is a bitter word particle word. Uh, this is what this 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 uh, express this uh, uh, expression what shows what the word bitter decay. This is what happens in the bitter decay. Okay, so that is what is represented here, bitter decay. Okay, so now this what substance, this radioactive substance, thorium two thirty four ninety. Okay, undergoes what bitter decay. It emits what a bitter word particle it emits a beta particle what happens when it emits a beta particle what happens is that what the nuclear mass this one is the nuclear mass here yeah? the nuclear mass why this one is what the nuclear charge okay so the nuclear mass here does not change as you can see look at the substance that is formed okay the nuclear charge a uh, nuclear mass here is 234 the nuclear mass here is what is 234 okay before the decay before the beta decay, all right, it was 234. After the beta decay, the mass did not change. So beta decay does leads to what? Leads to no change in the what? In the nuclear mass. It does not lead to any change in the nuclear mass, but it causes what? The, the, what, the what? The uh, nuclear what? Charge to increase by a unit of one. Okay? So for nuclear mass, it remains unchanged. Okay, therefore, for nuclear charge, 
increase by a what unit of one okay so it's the nuclear mass the nuclear charge will increase by a unit of one but the nucleus nuclear mass will remain what of change when it comes to what beta or decay okay so as you can see the nuclear charge here from 90 became 191 okay but of course the what nuclear mass did not what change so this is what beta or decay this is how we represent what beta or decay okay this is a beta particle okay so it's simple as abc oh it's clear. I'm sure it's very, very clear. If you have any question for us, but do not be scared. Ask it in the comment section. Don't drop it in the comment section and we'll get to it right away. All right. So now let us go to uh let us go to uh uh past questions now and what and begin to what to look into what this kind of what question the way radioactive decay questions was are uh, asked. Okay, so now in alpha particle basically uh proceeds with all the decrease in uh, like we said, decrease in what? In the mass by what? By unit of four for alpha, for alpha decay, okay? For alpha decay, decrease in the mass by four, decrease in the what? In the charge by two. But for a beta decay, no change in what? In mass, but increase in the charge by what? By one. We have established what that. So now example of decay series, let's, let us see some example of decay series. An example is what? The uranium series. Example of decay series. Decay series. Decay series is what? Number one, we have uranium series. Okay, we have two. We have actinum series. Okay, we also have the torum series. Torum or series. Okay, so this is an example of what? Of decay series that we have. Okay, this is an example of decay series. The uranium series, the actinum series. The word, the Torum series, the example of what of series, other type of nuclear reactions apart from this uh, 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 decay series. Okay, other type of what nuclear reactions we have is what of course the nuclear fission. We also have the nuclear what fusion, and what this both of them what uh, uh, is accompanied by what by by release of what great amount of energy. Okay, this nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion, okay, is accompanied by what release of what of great amount of what of energy. All right. So now we also have what we call artificial transmutation. Okay, uh, we also have artificial transmutation. Okay, this one was first of all was discovered. Okay, by what by uh, an English was uh, scientist called Ernest. Ernest Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford, in the year 1913. Okay, so artificial what the concept of what artificial transmutation, all right, was first what des described in 1913 by an uh, English or a British what physicist that what Ernest what Rutherford. He lived from the year 1871. He lived from the year 1871 to 1937. Okay, so please take note of what of that. Okay, so now let's go to the O2D school jump app so that we don't waste too much time. Let's what see what uh, some questions. So the question we're looking at before 2021 about 26. 2021 26. Let us wipe this board so that we can what we use it to, what, to answer these questions. Okay, 2021 number uh, number 26. It says which of the following involves a beta particle emission? Okay, which of the following involves a beta particle emission? This is beta particle. Okay, that is what? Zero minus one. A B. So now let's go. So A says A is what? 234 92 uranium to so give us what? 230 90 torum. Okay, now we know that for a beta particle, there's no need to the, the change, the mass, the nuclear mass does not change. So this is already wrong. Okay, because this is 234 and now this is 230. It has reduced by 4 and 2. That's reduced by all by an alpha. It means that here now it emitted what an alpha particle, not what beta. So A is wrong. So let us look at the second option. It says Hg 238 80 to so give us what uh, Ti 238 81. Okay. Now let us look at it very well. Now did the mass change? It, it did not change. Did the uh, uh, nuclear charge increased by a fact by by a unit of one yes so our correct answer there is what already option b okay as you can see this beta particle 
the nuclear mass does not change, but what the the charge increases by what by if a, a unit of what of one. All right, so that will make B our correct answer. If you want to look at C, you can see C the nuclear mass there increase. I uh, saw reduced by a factor of uh, by unit of four. Okay, why the nuclear charge remains unchanged? That is not beta decay. Then D, as you can see, uh, that was four two. That is 12 Cs. So the correct answer there is what is option B. All right. This is what the one that is an example of what of beta that involves a beta particle emission. Let's see another question. 2018 number 38. 2018 number 38. All right. In this one, we're giving uh, uh, they say what is emitted during the disintegration of barium nucleus as shown by the equation below. By the equation, let's see the equation. So here we're giving what uh, BA one thirty eight fifty six. Then we're giving what X one thirty four fifty four. Okay. So now they say which what is emitted during the disintegration of BA nucleus as shown by the equation what below. But as you can see very well here, yeah. First of all, look at the nuclear mass and see what change. From 138 change to what four? Okay, then this one the nuclear charge from 56 it, it, it turned to what 54. That is the difference of what of two, and that is what an alpha particle. Okay, is that not clear? Very clear. So uh, let's see. A they say alpha particle, B beta particle, C gamma rays, D neutrons. Correct answer there is what is alpha particles. Let's see another question. 2017-26. They say an atom X 238. 92 decays by alpha particle emission to form an atom. Why by alpha particle emission? Okay, that means if it's by alpha particle emission, that is what four two. That means the whatever will be formed. Okay, we have what a nuclear mass of what 238 minus 4, that is 234, and then the charge we reduce by what by two units. That is 92 minus what two, that is what 90. Okay, so the question says that uh the atomic number and mass number are 90 and 234. Which option is that in? That is option A. Very simple. Let's move on. Now, this is 2015-45. Uh, they say in the reaction below, X is... Okay, we have seen this in the last what, in the last episode. All right, so please, there are many more questions on this application. Go to Play Store, download now, and what, activate and start practicing your way to success. My name is Master T, your Grand Commander. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.